Getting to our next Frank story of the night, my next guest left a very successful career in the corporate world to fulfill his dream. He set out to make a difference and help others in a very unique way through sweets. Yeah, you heard me right, through sweets. What started as a secret family recipe that's been passed down from father to son, and then again from father to son, has turned into Grandpa Frank's candy. Grandpa Frank's candies are a sweet treat that are making a difference all over the world, one caramel at a time. Here to share his delicious story, please welcome the owner and founder of Grandpa Frank's Candy, Mark Bridges. Hi, Mark. Hey, Susan. How are you? Uh, good. How are you? Doing great. I am so excited. I was seriously, I was getting real choked up there with my Frank connection and you have another, I just think this was so meant to be tonight. We went from Frank to Frank and now here we are with the owner, the celebrity yeah. superstar himself of Grandpa Frank's Candy. This is, this is so exciting to me. So congratulations on Thank the launch you. of your company. It is brand new. So this is very exciting. So give me a little bit, give me the backstory on how this even came to life. Yeah. So, um, you know, as you mentioned before, you know, I've been making the candy for a lot of years, right? You know, probably 30 years I've been making it for neighbors and friends. But um, so I've always thought about doing something with it. And I think just, I don't know if it was COVID or what, but in February, I just decided that it was kind of time it, that I wanted to do something different. And, um, you know, I talked to my wife and I don't know, surprisingly, she told me to go for it. So we're, you know, we're giving it a shot, see how it goes. But um, yeah, it was, you know, it, and the reason I did it, I guess there's a few different reasons. One, I really wanted something to, you know, honor my grandfather, right. You know, just kind of keep his legacy going, you know, cause he was a pretty amazing person. Um, and I did want a platform also to get back. Right. So a big part of our mission actually is trying to get back. And, you know, we'll talk a little bit more about that you know, maybe later, but, um, yeah. yeah, my grandfather, he was, um, first of all, he was a hall of fame running back, you know, down at Carbondale. Um, you might see his hall of fame picture, maybe right behind me here. I'm not sure. What Ooh, that, yeah. 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 I, someone pointed that out. They can see a... him. I love <laughs> that. Yeah. He, um, so he was a hall of fame running back down at Carbondale. And then when he graduated, um, college, he went on to be athletic director and a football coach, um, at the high school. And he, was a Hall of Fame coach. He had a 1937 football team that was undefeated, unscored Ooh. upon, and set the state scoring record. So they, uh, you know, pretty much, you know, rolled over everybody. He, um, you know, Bob Zupke, back when Illinois had a good football team, um, he had come and he was recruiting some of the players. So he, he spoke at, uh, at their senior banquet that year. Um, but anyway, my grandfather went on to be a professor at Carbondale, um, primarily in first aid, health, um, he had, you know, kind of written his dissertation on high, you know, incoming freshmen into high school and just kind of making sure that they got enough physical fitness tests and they were kind of thinking about, you know, fitness. Um, he, he had co-authored a book on first aid and, and, and whatnot. So, and somewhere along this journey, he learned how to make candy and he would make it, um, you know, for neighbors and friends around the holidays. And, um, he probably did that for 50 years and just people really kind of got to, you know, anxious around the holidays, hoping that the candy would show up, you know, and, um, but yeah, so, and the, so I spent a lot of summers with my grandfather. Um, he, he taught me how to fish, how to, you know, um, how to drive a stick shift, you know, he would always be teaching us different things about nature. He, um, but indirectly, he would also teach us, he taught me how to make candy. Um, but he also indirectly taught me about giving back because he was always volunteering as I would kind of just shadow him you know, he was always going to the hospital or to the church or to maybe the senior center and, you know, kind of just giving his time and volunteering. So that's something that's always, you know, just kind of stuck with me. So, um, you know, I've always, you know, tried to get involved with the kids, you know, whatever it is, volunteering to coach baseball or to, you know, just serve in kind of a financial, most of my consulting career was in finance. Um, so I would help, you know, just be treasurer for different places. And, and now that the kids are out of high school and getting, you know, kind of more into college, I needed something else. Right. So, um, so anyway, so this is what I'm doing. So this is where I'm hoping that we can become, you know, a little bit, hopefully we can sustain this and make a difference, you know, as we kind of go along. So. And I love this because first of all, Frank equally sounds amazing. I'm feeling like the theme here is if your name is Frank, you are an outstanding, incredible individual. 
Right. That's the moral of tonight's story, I think. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't um, sure I was going to be able to compose myself. You know, after that first story, it was, um, I laughed, I cried. It was uh, very touching and what an amazing song, right? I would definitely go see yeah. him in concert. So thank uh, you. I hope, Marty, you're still listening. We have another yeah, fan who yeah, would come absolutely. to you. In absolutely. No, I uh, mean, uh, this this show is just sometimes. Ooh. Right. <laughs> right. Seriously, I get I get all choked up, and even just I don't know what it is. All the all these years later, even just seeing um, I, I call him my Frank now because there's so many Franks in the show. Even just seeing yeah. my Frank's picture, just I just lose it. So it was good. It was good we brought you on because I can compose myself a little bit. But <laughs> right. your grandpa Frank sounds so incredible, and I love that he instilled this in you because I mean, even just in the short amount of time you and I have been talking, I can feel it. I can feel your passion for this, and I think it is so cool that the whole premise behind starting this company, in addition to sort of honoring your grandfather, is to make a difference, is to give back. I mean, I want people that are watching this, I want you guys to really understand that is the foundation of Grandpa Frank's Candies. It is to give back. And and you're doing that in a really cool way. So I want you to be the one that explains sort of how you are doing that with this whole company. Yeah, it's been, you know, so one of the things I decided that I wanted to do is you know, I really want to kind of go after, I think, corporate gifts and you know, we'll do weddings and different things like that. So um, I've decided that all of the advertising marketing that we're doing really is through, you know, right this summer, it's all been through golf outings. So every single dollar that we've spent on advertising um, has been through all golf outings where they, it kind of goes back to a charity. But, you know, there's a lot of salespeople that kind of attend the golf outings. So it kind of hits my you know demographic as well. But um you know, I've gotten to meet some amazing people and kind of support some different, you know, a lot of amazing charities, you know, NALS has been wonderful, you know, Julie yourself. I mean, it's, you guys all do such a great job, you know, I think with this chapter in Chicago. So, um, but yeah, that's, that's really what we're doing. And then we're also with, with the corporate gifts, you know, if we, you know, once we get um, a client and if they make us part of their program, you know, we're going to give a percentage back of, of whatever they spend, you know, back to charities as well. And we'll work with, those clients to determine, you know, kind of which charities that, you know, we mutually agree upon, but uh, it'll be kind of a part of pretty much everything that we're doing. Um, you know, so it's, that's, yeah, that's kind of how we're approaching it. And that's really what we're trying to, uh, what we're trying to do. So. Uh, Mark Bridges has a heart of gold. What an oh, amazing man. Nice. I concur. <laughs> Ditto, ditto. This is why I love this interactiveness of this show because people really get to chime in and be a part of all of this. And it is true. And so I love the, what I love about this corporate giving is that, it's going to the, the corporations that team up with you, they get a say, they get to choose an right. organization that is close to their heart that they get to give to. But in addition to that, you've got a really, really cool promotion going this month. And we're going to talk about your connection here, but basically for the entire month of September, any online purchases of your caramels, right. if they put ALS, in the um when they're checking the out and yeah there's yeah. an additional comments field so it's not a promo yes. code it's just in the additional comments if they somehow reference als it doesn't have to be exactly als but if i know mm -hmm. that you know that their purpose is to kind of give back to als then we'll give 30 percent of whatever they spend back to uh yeah back to the chapter so and i know at the golf outing i think we sold enough that we're already you know giving out back over a hundred dollars um and we've gotten <gasps> a few other orders that have come in so Hopefully, I'm hoping, you know, to at least double that here over the next, you know, few weeks that we've got here in the month. So, you know, whatever we can do to give back, it's a win for everybody, right? Oh my so. gosh, that's huge. And you guys, did you hear that? 30%, that is huge. Because a lot of times when you do these give backs and I, I'll see things on online, it'll be, hey, we'll donate 10%. You are donating 30%. That is huge. 30% right. is going back to our chapter. And I have to say, okay, we're, we're going to get into this. I want you to tell me about, um, I want you to tell me, but I'm going to give everyone a little sneak peek. Okay, can I just say, okay, look how cute this is. First of all, by the way. You can't see the missing pieces in here because I was trying to hide them. <laughs> but these are um, new favorite caramels, hands down. I'm not even just saying that because you're on the show. I swear to it. These things are insane. As soon as the show is over tonight, I will be eating this entire box. I will not be sharing with anybody. <laughs> these are absolutely incredible. So let's break it down for everybody because I got this yummy sampler pack that has all. So tell us about the flavors that you have. Yeah. So we've got, so the, the middle flavor there um, has pecans in it. That was my grandfather's, that was his recipe. So that's what he made, you know, from, you know, around the holidays. That's mm. what I originally learned how to make. And it took me 
a long time. I, I didn't realize that I didn't have the cal- the formula right until oh. finally after four or five years making it, my grandfather's like, yep, you got it. <laughs> like, so it took me a while. I think he was kind of holding back, but it, it took a while to kind of, to get that perfected. Um, and then a lot of people just wanted it without nuts. So we just started making mm-hmm. it without nuts. I can't guarantee that it's nut free. You know, it's not a nut free kitchen. So there might be some, but it's, you know, we don't add any nuts into the recipe. Okay. And then, um, the third one was, you know, I, I'm wanting to partner also with some other companies, okay. you know, to kind of make some different products. And so mm-hmm. it, here in Wheaton, where I live, um, there's this amazing company called I Have a Bean, um, and they 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 roast coffee. So they, first of all, their coffee is is incredible. It's 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 amazing. It's uh, the way they roast it. Somehow you don't get that you know, kind of acid, you know, mm-hmm. kind of uh, in your stomach, you know, okay. as you're drinking. A lot of times with drinking coffee, but um, so first of all, their their coffee is amazing, okay. but. The other thing I like about their story is they only hire uh, post-prison employees, you know, so they're giving people an opportunity to kind of get back into the workplace. So it just seemed like somewhat of a, it was definitely an interest in me. A friend of mine actually just walked in there and mentioned that I was doing caramels. And I think within a week we started like testing recipes and we, I think the first recipe we actually tried ended up being the one that we put out there. And it's, um, it's amazing, amazing. Oh, and yeah, and I was talking to Pete today. He did, he did mention that he also provides coffee. So there, there's also another connection there that I just learned about today when I was talking to Pete with ALS. Yeah. So, so yeah. So that's the other flavor we have, which is the our coffee caramels, which is kind of quickly becoming a lot of people's favorites. Um, oh. I've even got people that tell me that they don't like coffee and they they like the caramels. So I'll be interested in season once you try one to yes. see if you. You like them or not because i know you're not a coffee person so i'm not i'm not at all and i'll be so honest with you when i when i do taste them but those ones you could see all of them so i couldn't try one because then the box would look <laughs> yeah it would look silly with one missing and we do have there is a coffee bean that that we put in in every uh each of those yeah. caramels and yeah, eat the coffee bean because they add a little they're, they're roasted oh. so they're not, they're not too hard and they add just a little bit of texture and um a nice little pop of flavor so oh cool well, yeah, so fantastic. far, hands down, my favorites have been your grandpa's original recipe with the nuts. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> so yeah. yummy. I am so excited. And I was telling you, my family already has um, has been ordering them. And I know that's not going to be end. I'm great. addicted. I am so <laughs> addicted to these. I'm thinking, I mean, anyone that knows me now, from now on, your gifts are always going to be caramel. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Because I just love this story. And again, you guys, 30%, that is so, that is so huge. The whole reason you were right. doing this is to be able to make a difference, to be able to give back to charities, not only ours, but some other great organizations out there. So why not get some really yummy treats and give back to charity? I just think this is is the best of both worlds. So everybody that's watching, the link is up in the comment section. Sam posted it. So make sure you check it out. It's real easy to remember, grandpafrankscandy.com. If you go there, you can check out what they have for sale. I promise you, you will not be disappointed because these caramels are the best. <laughs> so make sure you check them out. You guys, holidays are coming up. We've got um, Thanksgiving coming up. So that might make a really great gift or some hostess gifts when you go over to someone's house. Because I do yeah. have to say too, your prices are incredible. I just yeah. want to put that out there for everybody. You are incredibly priced. So it's not breaking the bank to get these caramels and to give gifts to people, which I also love. So it's yeah. very economical. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to make it yeah, to where, you know, where yeah. you can sustain a business, right. And make enough to kind of yeah. you know, make it make sense for us, but also, you know, obviously get back. So. Yeah, no, I absolutely love that. So make sure you guys check it out again. It's in the comment section and any online purchases that you make, remember for the month of September. So if you are on the fence, make sure you buy them, especially this month in September. And then you have the option there. Do you have a little comment section? You can add some things and make sure you add in ALS so that he knows to donate to the chapter. So do that. And I say, I want to challenge you. I don't know if Mark, if, if you can see that as the orders come in, but I would like to put a challenge out there that before the show ends, so we have one more guest after Mark, before the show ends, let's see how many boxes we can sell. I would like to see <laughs> at least 10 boxes sold tonight before the show is over. So guys, let's make that happen. 10 boxes. And because I am such a freaking huge fan of these caramels, I'm telling you, this is not even a lie. We're going to do something right now. All of the viewers, all of you guys that are watching are going to get your chance to win your very own box of Grandpa Frank's caramels. (laughs) Maybe. I love them so much. I might steal them from you, but I'm (laughs) going to try to be real nice. I'm going to try to let somebody else win here because I really want them. So the first person, everybody get ready, get on your computers, get your typing fingers ready. And the first person that can chime in in the comment section 
and tell us what significance the number 90 has to ALS will win a free box of Grandpa Frank's Carbals. So, dun, 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 go. <laughs> and as we are doing that, Mark, um, you've kind of already told me this because there are so many different candy companies out there, different caramel companies. I mean, what do you think really sets you apart? What makes Grandpa Frank's candy so special? Yeah, I think I, I, it's a little bit, to me, it's a, I think it's a nod back to the past. I think a lot of it, the, there's not, I, I, I've tried for years to find, you know, kind of a caramel that, that was as good as, you know, my grandfather's and I couldn't, that was one of the reasons we did it. But I think, um, I think it's the combination, right? I think it's, you know, a, it's kind of that the nod back to the past, but, um, I'm hoping that people will start to understand and kind of see, you know, that we're serious about giving back. And yeah. I'm hoping that that can maybe differentiate us here, you know, a little bit and uh, help us move forward. And, uh, you know, in addition to continuing to work on our recipes and, and making, you know, better and better candy as we kind of go, um, you know, I think that, I think that the giving back part is, is probably, you know, one of the things that will, will differentiate us. And we're not looking to get huge. We're not looking to get into Costco or to Walmart or to, Dominic's, you know, we really want to work with smaller shops that are around. I mean, there's a place, anybody who's in Orland Park area, there's a place called Peace Marketplace, um, which is a wonderful shop. And I know that they give back a lot to their community as well, but they're, mm -hmm. they're selling, you know, our caramels there as well. So you can please support them if you're in that, if you're in that area, but uh, you know, that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to work with smaller, you know, maybe um, family owned businesses to kind of sell them that way versus kind of go through, you know, kind of the big box stores and, okay. and whatnot. So, yeah. I love that. And you never know. I mean, whoever's watching the show tonight, I mean, if any of you have your own small business and you're looking to have some caramels, we know a guy. Yeah. <laughs> we know a guy that can make That's that great. happen. I love that. Okay. So two of you, two of you so far, I'm actually surprised that more people didn't chime in on this, but two of you, <laughs> Kev Nice 69, you got it. And Patty M58, you are right. Our 90, 90 campaign. So 90 is significant to ALS because every 90 minutes, someone is diagnosed with ALS and every 90 minutes, someone loses that battle with ALS. So 90 is a very important number in the ALS world that we want to get rid of. We want to make this number insignificant, but in the meantime, congratulations, Kevin and Patty, you guys rocked it. So I love that. So see, I, oh, yep, exactly. So Kevin and Patty M59, email me. There's my email address. Send me your address and we will send you guys. I guess we're doing a tie. So both of you win. We will send you guys a box of Grandpa Frank's caramels because they are so amazing. If I don't eat them first. If you get an empty box in the mail, I can't be blamed. I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, Kevin is going to go ahead and donate. Wait, wait a second here. You're donating to Donna Clacks when I'm over here telling you I want them. I, I love them. I don't get them. I love this. You know what? I love this family connection here of people just donating and spreading some love. So I like that. But speaking of, before we lose you, because I really do want to know, so what was your, how did you even get involved in ALS in the first place? How did you come yeah. to us to want to team up? Yeah, it's, you know, so I have a connection. My sister, one of her good friends from work, um, you know, was diagnosed um, and she was just the sweetest, nicest, happiest person. Like, yeah, I met her. I didn't know her very well, but, you know, I would meet her at parties at my sister's house and um, she was just somebody who always wanted to be around. And it was just devastating, um, you know, to see her decline, you know, once she was diagnosed. I think she had it for six years and, um, you know, so we, my sister was very involved. She raised money. She kind of did a fundraiser to kind of help yeah. get her a scooter. And, um, but Tammy had like just the best even after she was diagnosed, she was always thinking of others first. Like she, I think she got diagnosed a few months before my sister's wedding and waited to tell her till after the wedding, just because, oh. you know, she just, and then one year she actually dressed up as Lou Gehrig for Halloween. You know, she just, oh. she always like, I don't understand how I got this. You know, I didn't play baseball and, you know, but she would just, you know, kind of inject humor into it. I think that's how she coped with it maybe a little bit, but she, um, yeah, but she, uh, she was just seemed like an amazing person. I know my sister, really, really, you know, and it's, and her husband was, or I guess she never got married actually, just because they, she didn't want to leave a big cost burden, you know, on, on Scott, who was her boyfriend, but her, her, Scott was just amazing, you know, supporting her. I know that he, mm. um, you know, is very active in the chapter down in St. Louis and, you know, I think organizing walk teams and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, that was kind of the original. And then a friend of mutual, a friend of mine um, that also knew Julie, um, had suggested that, you know, I kind of start to work with, 
with you guys. And it was just a natural, you know, kind of partnership from that point. So, yeah. So I'm hoping this will be a longstanding, you know, uh, you know, relationship and partnership that we can have here. So. It absolutely will. And Mark, thank you so much for everything you're doing for our chapter, for helping us because all these donations, they make such a huge impact. Again, like we said, yeah. all the services that our chapter provides are free. And so your help has been huge in that to continue yeah. keeping us going to find this fight. So you guys, everybody check out grandpafrankscandy.com. Make sure you check it out this month, specifically all the months. Make sure you buy it all the months, but definitely the month of September. Make sure you put ALS when you were checking out so that it... 30% can be donated. And you guys, come on. Yeah. And you Audrey, I think, and Audrey, I don't know if you're still on, but my daughter is also down in Champagne. So um, if you want, just put in the comments, like pick up in Wheaton and I can bring them down to, to Champagne somehow for you, but uh, to help you save on shipping. But uh, uh -huh. if you're not interested, that's fine. But I just thought I'd throw that out there. So <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yeah. Always trying to, I'm always trying to help everybody out. You're such yeah. a great guy, Mark. I'm, I'm so wow. excited for you. And I'm so excited for like the beginning of this amazing company because I know so many good things are to come and we didn't even get to talk about what your future plans for this company are. So we'll have to discuss it again, but whatever comes, I know it's going to sure. be huge for you. I'm so excited to keep watching your journey and eating my way through life with your carbos. You basically. <laughs> well, thanks for having me. It's been great. And I'm so happy to be a part of this. So uh, thank you for everything. And I will talk yeah. to you really soon. Sounds great. Bye.